Hey what's up guys welcome back to another YouTube video so in this video we're gonna do a technical analysis uh, on gold GJ and GU so looking at the gold right now as you know like uh, we had a support over here okay we had a support over here and uh, price has rejected that area so many times and after rejecting that area price has a like uh, really good pullback like you can see we had a rejection there and price was make, uh, straight up to make a new high after that we had a com some kind of downtrend there and once price has uh, come to 1677 again after that it had to make a double bottom there and it's continuing going up after uh, respecting this uh, resistance over there price has rejected and can uh, fall down a little bit and it had a made a weak at the same rejection at the same support and uh, after the rejecting that it uh, is continue going down and right now it's respecting the resistance going down a little bit so looking at that uh, we will mark that resistance there and this area yeah, so. so cell will be good below this area like it will be a safe cell because we have clean candle there so i think uh, with some kind of news or volume uh, we can bre break below and continue going down or it can just uh, so do some kind of consolidation and continue going back up we will see what uh, price do so looking at the forward time frame right now based on that we have uh, right now price is kind of consolidating i will say because uh, it had a, made a new uh, low here and after that it broke the previous high there but it's still coming down right now so what i will expect like uh, price to break below this area to make a new low after that we can confirm that it's still a downtrend and once prices come to 1780 or 78 we can look for the buys or either sell because if price do break below this area then we will look for the sells but uh, if it don't and do so we will look for the, some kind of like let's say consolidation there and uh, after it break the structure we will wait for the retest and right back sorry about that so yeah we will uh, look for the buys and uh, we will ride it back up to 1730 uh, sorry 1830 that will be good opportunity for the buys and uh, after that we can look for the buys if it still continue going up then as i said 1900 will be good target but we will see what uh, the price do and if we looking for the sales let's say price do break below the structure so i'll be looking for the sales uh, to 1730 that would be my target and uh, once it uh, like hit it i will wait for price to give me some confirmation about the buy trend then i will look for the buys but i think like uh, price will continuing down it, it will fill up this week there it had a left that what i will be looking for like uh, i think it should fill up this week but not sure what it will do it's a gold it's always do what we don't expect so right now looking at the one hour and 30 minute time let's go on the 30 minute time frame to get some confirmations what it will doing okay you can see price is just consolidating over here that's just the side views so we will wait for the some kind of confirmation before entering it in the downtrend so we're gonna go on the gj there Looking at the daily time frame, we had a really good uh, holding the support over here. We are really holding the support over here, like price is still holding the support. Price has rejected this area too many times, and right now, price is in a small uptrend there. And looking at this uh, downtrend, you can see it had a like. Uh, really good downtrend there but uh, this time prices try to break it but uh, it didn't break above so we'll see if it do break above that would be a good buy to continue going up 
at 156. So looking at that, on 4 hour we are looking for the like, uh, let's say, prices in a really good uptrend. We had a really good bullish pressure uh, from the 20, 20 August. After that, we, like uh, price was really going up and up. Right now, price has like uh, break this downtrend and still continue going up, retesting this area. So I think it uh, if it don't break uh, below this area, 151 or 151 600, 700 and 151 400, then it's still a good uptrend. So what we'll be looking for, like, okay, sorry about that. Yeah. We need to we need confirmation to sell once it break uh, this support and if it uh, if it doing the retest then we need some con some kind of a confirmation based on thirty minute or fifteen minute time frame that price is still going going up so we'll look for the buys and uh, we will hold it to our target will be like one five thirty two fifty something like that so looking at the one hour and thirty minute time frame we'll go to thirty minute time frame. Okay, as I said, like price, if it price is doing the retest of this break, then it will, we will get some kind of a confirmation. But uh, looking at this right now, we have some bullish pressure there, but that would would be not great confirmation. So I'll wait for like a price to at least close above one five to two hundred. After that, I will look for the buys and I will hold it to. 152 500 or 250 that will be my target yeah, that's it and looking at the gu let me go to the daily time frame okay looking at the daily time frame price is kind of oh it's it's holding the support as well that's good that's good like uh as same as GJ, as you know, like both uh, guys move the same ways, but sometimes it happened like it uh, had some kind of different waves. But uh, right now, looking at the four over and daily time frame, I think price is kind of rejecting this area because it's a uh, strong resistance there. Like you can see, price has rejected too many times there. Looking at the four over now. Okay, I had a heavy rainfall in my country right now. Wow, uh, look at that. So yeah, back on the topic, uh, looking at this uh, re rejection there, I think uh, price will kind of make a pullback there. So we, I will look for the cells once it broken this uh, small support there. So I will hold it to 151600. That would be a small scalp. That will be really good. So looking at the four time frame, price will, I think price will uh, come to this area again. So what I will expect on the GU is uh, like price do continue uh, from around this area and then we can look for the buys or either price do break below and continue the sell, continue selling that and that would be our low. So that what I'm expecting on the GU right now based on four time frame let me go on the one hour time frame so yeah as i said like uh, once price is broken uh, below this area i look for the cells and I hold it to here because there are some clean candles there it will be a good scalp there so let's see how the week goes and uh, I have a Discord server as well. If you want to join, link will be in the description. We have really good community there, so it would be good. Like uh, you can see the review from the members there. We have really good reviews there from the people uh, who have been in the server for months, I guess. And uh, yeah, if you want to join, link will be in the description. It will be really good to have you as a crew member. So thank you for being part of my trading journey. See you in the next video.